Hello my YouTube friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, null bull video. As I would say, vitamins do not matter. That's real bull. If vitamins wouldn't matter, we wouldn't be here and uh, no one would sell vitamins and no one would emphasize vitamins. However, some vitamins are more important than others. And today I would like to talk about vitamin D. Um, if you like, before I start, if you like my channel, if you like any of other videos, if you would like to get more information, please subscribe, hit that notification uh, uh, bell so you won't miss any videos, and please comment down below um, so I can find what your interests in your life, so I can create new videos that basically describe things that would be clear to understand or things that you are more interested in. Again, this video today is from one of the series, um, trust me, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. What I like doing is taking latest research, uh, latest uh, uh, developments in science, trying to translate it to plain English and let people know what it is. The reason is that doctors are brilliant people, but they don't have time to read latest research. They, there to make sure that your symptoms are going away, you're not in pain. They won't create your healthy lifestyle. I'm here to make sure that we all stay medicine free as long as possible and having healthier lives. Today is not about that, today is about vitamin D. What is, what is so important about vitamins in general? Vitamins and minerals are essential nutrients. They provide hundreds of different roles uh, in a body from immune system to digestions to bone density uh, wound healing literally everything so if your lifestyle uh, is not involved in consuming vitamins and minerals your body would be weak your body would struggle your body would be inflamed and most likely you'll be most of the time in pain it's either um, head fog or general tiredness or pains or achings in the body so please watch this video and we vitamin by vitamin discover what can you do to make your life uh, better so vitamin d is a little bit misunderstood vitamin um, many people think oh well that's just a vitamin first of all vitamin d is not vitamin it's a hormone um, the main purpose of vitamin d is reduce calcium levels in the bloodstream and take it to the bones as we age our bone density getting lower and our calcium in blood getting bigger so you probably heard about calcification of the blood vessels what can result the result in heart attacks because if heart struggle to pump through calcified arteries uh, eventually it will fail so people deficient in vitamin d would uh, be prone more to heart attacks because their uh, uh, vascular system is not as clean as it should be. So vitamin D will help you to make your bones stronger and get calcium out of bloodstream. That's the big, big thing. Another big thing, we've got two immune system. The first one is innate immune system and another one adaptive. I don't want to go into details, but innate immune system responsible for first responses of pathogens and viruses that come in. The adaptive one is that one that learns uh, what you were um, sick with and learn how to prevent it in the future. So we've got those two systems that work separately but together. And vitamin D is crucial, crucial for that system. I created a video earlier that I described that um, latest study uh, shows that most of the people that died of virus had insufficient levels uh, levels of vitamin D. That goes to show that people that had sufficient level of vitamin D either had mild symptoms had no, or had no idea that they had a virus. That's absolutely Im impressive. What is more impressive and actually learning quite recently, uh, diving a little bit deeper in the scientific world, is uh, vitamin D responsible of around 5% of DNA manipulation in the body. That's incredible. 
it's basically responsible for every single hormone distribution in a body. 5%, it's enormous amount of responsibility. If you lack in vitamin C, your hormones as a result of it could be not functioning well and that would have huge implication for health as well. So, um, how do we get enough vitamin D? There's a two ways to get it. One is uh, from uh, exposure to the sun, but there's a two buts about exposing yourself to sun. The first one is age related. As we age, the conversion from sun rays or UVB, UV uh, spectrum B to vitamin D lowers. That means within a time, body have, um, not body is not that capable of transferring uh, sun rays to vitamin D. And even if you're exposing yourself enough to sun, you may be lacking vitamin D. The second one is, as you know, high um, sun exposure to ultraviolet lights or UV, what we call it, may cause uh, skin cancer. I do not recommend to expose yourself to sun rays just, you know, to get vitamin D. And um, um, everything in moderation. For example, I try to get some um, sun exposure in the morning when there's a more um, infrared um, um, light than UV and UV is quite moderate. So a little bit of exposure in the morning, a little bit in the evening should top up your levels of vitamin D nicely. Plus it's really great to, to uh, greet sunrise and, and watch sunset. The second option is supplementation. Um, the, basically a lot of rumors going around that uh, over consuming vitamin D could be toxic. Uh, I tried to investigate that as well and I um, dive a little bit more into research of vitamin D. Um, there is no any signs of ill effects up to 100,000 units, international units, what they call IUs, of uh, vitamin D consumption in a day. Mind you, average pill or supplement that you get in a, in a pharmacy, it's between 1 to 10 IUs. And 10 is quite concentrated dose. So what would I suggest as we're getting older to consume between 4 to 12,000 uh, international units of vitamin D a day as supplementation. If you expose enough, uh, yourself enough to sun rays, I would say 4,000 units, international units a day, it's a good dose of supplementation with no ill effects, only benefits. If you spend most of the day in the office at home or not exposing yourself to uh, light or you're in Northern Hemisphere where um, sun, not as um, you cannot expose yourself enough to sun to get enough vitamin D. I would still take 10,000 or more international units a day. So, what I'm trying to say the vitamin D it's not only vitamin I will talk about in the future, but vitamin D as a hormone quite huge in, 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 in responsibility of many of our uh, body function, and it's the first one that when it's deficient, things will go on wrong. Um, so next videos, I will try probably to, to talk about more vitamin C that everyone talking more about immunity rather than vitamin D. Today, I want to emphasize that vitamins are important. Vitamins are crucial. And please do not stop consuming vitamins, preferably from good nutrition and uh, good lifestyle. Thank you so much and for thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please uh, put thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell button, and uh, let me know in the comment section if you would like to watch more, what topics you would like to, me to discuss, or what would like me to investigate. Thank you so much for watching, Greg from Brisbane.